Right, so we're going to try putting some cleaner on the brick. So at the minute, I'm just giving them a rub with plain clean water. And this is because they're quite porous and it should stop the cleaner falling too much. So I'm not taking too much care to the mix with the water. So I've, I've taken my uh, cleaner, I've put eight parts water to two parts cleaner. I'm now going to give it oof, down and all the wall, so I'm now going to give it a scrub over. Um, have you got the scrub brush, Alicia? Yeah, let me just rinse it off. I've got the acid cleaner. It's hard to actually tell if it's that much of a difference, right? But hopefully it will have. Being quite careful as I'm rubbing it on, so there's not too many no splashes or anything. I'm just trying to concentrate on my like three courses at a time so I don't get lost where I am. And now I'm going to give it a rinse off. So at least you should be bringing me the bucket in. Now you need to put a bit more concentrated mix on the salt. See if we can get it any better than anyway. we? Right, so I've had a cup of tea, back again, going to do the inside now, it's very sooty inside. So, same scenario as before, I'm going to do it all with clean fresh water, and I'm going to use a more concentrated mix of the detergent. Right, I'm going to use a scrub and brush.
So I'm going to just give it a spray and that's getting the, the shut, shutty water off. You can see there pulling down. So I've just got a little spray bottle there, that's just normal water out the tap. Um, it, it does actually say on the instructions for the chemical not to spray it like, but it's before we put the chemical on this. Um, and I just found that much soot. I don't know whether, it, just to get it out of the way basically, it's only got an old fireplace opening so it's not doing any harm. So I'm, it's well wet now as well, so I'm now going to put the detergent on. Wet, you should put them up dry if they're wet. Mm -hmm. Make sure the camera can. Hold on. Right, so it's um, several days since I originally cleaned the fireplace and um, I thought I'd leave a few days just to see how it sort of settled in and if there was any marks on the bricks or anything like that. Um, but generally, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm pleased with it. It's, it's done an excellent job of cleaning it up. The fire back is obviously still black, but I mean, there's a hundred years plus of, of soot in there. But it, it, it's a thousand percent better than it was. I don't know how, how easy you can tell on the screen. Um, but it's made a massive difference and the stained bricks, you know, it, it's just thick tar really. It doesn't come off on your hands anymore like it did originally. I'm just looking up into the chimney top there and that, you know, I can see where it cuts off and where the, where the proper sort of starts. So it has done an excellent job. I mean, I would imagine several uh, applications of the cleaner would, um, you know, you'd get it more, but what we're going for a sort of a rustic look, because by the time we get the stove in, um, you know, you get some logs, a companion set and we'll have you at either side, we'll get the closure plate in, I'm probably going to repoint this front face and bit brickwork over the weekend, so it should be nice and tidy. So, the cleaner I was got with this was the mortar and brick cleaner, um, 5 litre drum, probably still half left there, um, I got it from Tool Station, but I guess you can buy it from anywhere. Um, like I say, it is a dangerous chemical, so just make sure if you are using it, you read the manufacturer's instructions, um, use the proper PPA, gloves, goggles, and um, keep all the exposed skin covered. But um, yeah, I'd, I'd imagine it'll probably be pretty good as well when I'm pointing, so I'll point up, and I'd imagine if I apply that straight afterwards, you know, I'll get, get the mortar off, no problem, because I mean, it's got set mortar off to an extent, so uh, I would imagine it'll, it'll definitely get fresh stuff off, so I'll, I'll be using it for that as well, so, yeah, thanks for watching.